Good morning guys, as you see from the title of this video, we are going to turn seven for the first time in like two months, three months. Honestly, I don't even remember. We gotta bring the kids with us. By we, I mean me and my cousin. So we are actually partnering together to work on a huge project for her boss. He wants to convert his old kids' playroom, storage room into a spa-like gym room for him and his wife. On Saturday, me and my cousin are going and we are actually gonna go put up a huge accent wall this is a four wall accent wall. So today we're gonna go to turn seven to go get some things for the space. Hopefully we can find two matching chairs. If not, one is okay. As long as it's comfy and it fits, you know, the vibe that we're going for. Maybe a little side table, small rug, and then some little like artwork, some frames, a decorative hooks, like different things like that that are very unique. Hopefully we can find them there. If not, I know we can get some of the stuff on Amazon, but I want like those bigger ticket items, which is like the side table and the chair. I'm gonna try to find them there. That's the game plan for today. I have to bring the kids because it's Martin Luther King Day, but we're gonna be going in my cousin's truck so we can come back with literally anything. I'm excited. Turn seven is about a 50 minute drive for me, so let's go. They think they, like, you depend on that pay. Right. There's a lot of Blue's Clues stuff on sale. A lot of Blue's Clues stuff. Pure one. Oh, that's new. Pure One imports one for three dollars and three for five dollars. Well, we're not gonna get that right now. We're not gonna get no toys right now. Today is gonna be one of those days where I'm like looking through these things to try to find like little random stuff. Like this, an aroma diffuser. Love every, these little things are expensive. These lights. <laughs> I see these every single time we come. And if there was two of them, I would totally get them. I have a lot of game board. Oh, look how cute. This is going in our car. Three dollars. Portable back cushion massager. Interesting. Fifteen. I don't like this for fifteen. All right, we've reached the magnolia section. Like the obvious section. Oh, okay. I like this one. Look at this one. This is a yes. It's ten dollars, but it's a yes. Okay, we're looking out at this magnolia section. We're just gonna like take it all home, okay? We're just gonna take it all home. Alright guys. Here, like what's underneath? Ooh. What is this? It's supposed to be. What is that supposed to be? Is this just like a step? What are you doing? <laughs> Guys, we've been in these bins for like 10 minutes now and we're just like taking everything at this point. Everything that's here. This one doesn't have a price on it. The pillows are always like on a hundred here. <laughs> okay. Oh, they actually have some matching sets too. That's surprising. They normally don't. There's a whole mountain room. That's crazy. I don't need it. I don't need pillows. So I don't do nothing with pillows, but the kids are still the most for. Alright. We have this looks like it's like the kitchen section, which is um which is new. Normally we don't have things so divided like this. It actually organized. Bunch of light bulbs, which sucks because I just got some. Uh, tension rods, and this little pedestal thing, which is used a lot in like parties, 30 bucks. Got some lamps here. I really like this mirror. I think it was here last time too. $30. Lamps. She was looking at this chandelier. The giant clay pen. It's super cute too, look at the color. They really just be putting stuff that are half done. I've literally stared at that coffee table so many times that I've been here. I can't believe it's still there. I have a bunch of humidifiers, a bunch of pajamas, clothes. Guys, they have so much clothes, it's crazy. So what's over here? Look at this beautiful artwork. We were looking for an image of the beach, something with the beach, because that's what we're going for, $20. 
I have always been looking for two chairs for my island every single time I come here, but they never have two of the same chair that I like. Never. I love that black one. It's like the Windsor one, but they never have it. I love this style, but they never have it. The same. I was thinking about how ever getting a frame for the kids' bed. I know I was going to build one, but I just don't feel like building stuff lately. This looks like it's one. I love this. I don't need it. But if the kids didn't have a nugget couch, this is a great alternative because it folds into a sofa bed. Like, that's pretty cool. Don't take your kids anywhere. They're just going to embarrass you. Look, crumbs, peanut butter and jelly, and everything is soaked because she decided to wear everything. Don't touch it. I'm looking through the pillows because now we have a chair. I'm thinking this yellow one. All right, we're in the $3 section now. We have a lot of stuff in here. Can all right so oh this God. is some of the stuff that we got so that was that's my thing and then this over here is for our client not this so our stuff came out to pretty cheap y'all mine came out to like 60 bucks my cousins came out to like 60 bucks and then for our client spent 350 dollars mm. and the chair alone was 150 and mm. the rug the beautiful five by eight rug not bad at all and we still have enough in the budget to buy the rest of the stuff that we need all right we just had to play a game of tetris <laughs> to get all this to fit in here all right i'm gonna give you guys the fastest haul this plant seven dollars got this plant i had this little thing right here so i got him down to five dollars these little marble taper candle holders they're super heavy seven dollars a wooden clock this was ten dollars this was three dollars it's a cute little tray a frame that we're gonna try to find pictures of a picture of them on vacation to put in here this was seven dollars the basket was ten dollars and then a towel holder so this connects to the wall and then you hang two towels off of that i thought this was so cute it's brass i think it's gonna look so nice with everything you know what i just realized that this is a humidifier not a oil diffuser <laughs> of course it is, <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> my cousin got a curtain and i'll just show you my stuff inside oh we also got this plant this one was only three dollars this pillow for the chair a mustardy yellow this was ten dollars and then this corner bamboo hamper for like their dirty towels um after they get done working out and all that stuff they could just throw all their dirty stuff in here ten dollars for that my cousin got that white fluffy rug got this for my olive tree he gave that to me for five dollars this was a steal you guys look these are three really long picture ledge shelves for twenty dollars these are at ikea for like 36 bucks a piece this size the fact that we got three for 20 like this was an absolute steal like we saved so much money with it and then this is the chair isn't it beautiful this is the most expensive thing so it was 150 dollars but this on target is like 300 and something dollars and it's just absolutely gorgeous like are you kidding me oh and then my cousin got this chair this was 30 dollars she got it for her her photography business to take photos on and stuff look how cute three dollars and then i got this frame for the kids bed this was thirty dollars which i'm really excited about because i was gonna buy one online and it was a hundred dollars online and then this rug over here fifty dollars you guys super cute woven rug for five by eight like you can't beat it guys look how cute it looks i love it i think it's the perfect color for five dollars are you kidding me good enough i stacked it on top of some books and then now i'm gonna go to hobby lobby at some point this week um, and I can get like the filling to go inside of it. So that way all that is hidden. But I think it looks so pretty. I've had this olive tree in my Amazon cart for forever. And my mom got it for me for Mommy. Christmas. All right. And that's it. Um, overall, I think it was an extremely successful day. We managed to get almost everything on our list. And the last few things that we need, I could just order on Amazon. And then I have to order a mirror on Home Depot. And that's it. I'm super excited to do this makeover. I'm going to see if I can record. I don't know yet if I want to. Just because it takes, obviously it'll take me longer to do the project if I'm recording as well. So we'll see, we'll see how I'm feeling that day. So I hope you enjoy coming along to turn seven with us. And if you decide to go there yourself, it's just know it doesn't open until 11 o'clock and there is normally a line to get in. Not a super long line, but there's usually a lot of people that all the carts end up going pretty fast. So if you're gonna go, definitely make a trip out of it and just expect to stay there for minimum two hours, but like up to four hours. Like that's the longest that I've stayed there. That is in the Morristown Mall in New Jersey and the store is called Turn 7. I'll leave the address in the description box below if you wanted to check it out. As always, I appreciate all your love and support. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.